Washington Senator Mark Warner was fired up. Sitting in his basement office at the Capitol last week, he leaned forward in his chair, waved his hands in the air and pounded his fingers on the coffee table. He was talking about how some of the biggest American technology companies, like Facebook, Google and Twitter, were used to spread foreign propaganda during the 2016 presidential campaign. And he wanted to make clear that those businesses had made major mistakes before and after the election. Not only were Russian-linked accounts able to take advantage of the services, MR. Warner said the tech companies also took months to hand over information about those accounts. And he is still not convinced, he said, that the businesses are revealing everything they know about how their products were manipulated. They've grown so quickly, said MR. Warner, 62, a Democrat from Virginia. I'm not sure they've fully realized the implications of all their power. This week, M.R. Warner, the top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, will push for new answers. Executives from Facebook, Google and Twitter are set to testify at congressional hearings on Tuesday and Wednesday about the election and the power of their platforms. Lawmakers are increasingly taking a critical tone with Silicon Valley, with M.R. Warner among the harshest. He has already pushed a bill requiring the companies to disclose who paid for digital political ads, the biggest legislative effort so far to regulate the companies. M.R. Warner's position is a sharp reversal. Before entering politics, he built a fortune that at one time was estimated at around $200 million as a technology and telecommunications investor and executive. His political identity, first as governor of Virginia and then as a senator, has been wrapped in promises to bring 21st century jobs. He has a broad and close network of tech executives and investors. M.R. Warner is emblematic of the shifting politics for technology. Mark didn't come to this point with the social media companies lightly, said Saxby Chambliss, a retired Republican senator from Georgia who regularly meets with M.R. Warner and the Intelligence Committee Chairman, Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina, a Republican, to discuss the Russia investigation. The reluctance of the technology companies to take seriously the investigation into Russian election meddling pushed M.R. Warner over the edge, M.R. Chambliss said. That is a poor attitude for American companies, M.R. Chambliss added, Mark will make sure this issue is highlighted because it needs to stop. Ahead of the hearings, Twitter and Facebook have scrambled to disarm lawmakers with announcements of voluntary changes to their advertising businesses. Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook, for example, spent a couple days in Washington promising more disclosures. Twitter announced it would disclose who buys political ads on its site and it blocked two Russia-based media organizations from purchasing advertisements. Twitter is taking an appropriate and welcome step, Rep. Adam Schiff of California, the leading Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, said last week. The companies say the internal investigations and answering lawmakers' questions are a top priority.